Hey guys, welcome to Coral Draw 2021. Now, if you haven't watched the new video out that I've just done, which is the full tutorial with the new features, um, then jump over to my channel and check that out. It's uh, Coral Draw 2021 first review, and uh, it's uh, about 40 minutes long, so it's quite detailed. It goes through all the different menus, and it'll give you some an overview of some of the new features. But I thought I wanted to follow this up with a nice quick video and incorporate just two of the features that we've got now new in this um, coral drawer which I think are really good is the one is the perspective drawing mode and two is the multi export feature and what better way to do this than to create for you guys a, a thumbnail video a thumbnail uh, image that we can use for this YouTube video so let's create a new document um, click new here or up here control N or one of these features on the left hand side will open a new document for you and give it a name. So let's call it thumbnail, that'll do. Um, and we wanna go custom size, uh, thumbnail for YouTube is 1280 pixels by 720 and we need that in landscape. And I would be setting this normally to 150 DPI to limit the file size to under two meg, which is the limit for YouTube. Um, but because we have got this new feature of multi-export, I'm gonna leave it at 300 DPI and we're gonna export two files one at full resolution and one at 50% resolution, which is 150 DPI, which will keep it within the limits for YouTube specification. Okay, so let's go ahead and press OK. So we got ourselves a blank document and some of the features um, in this uh, perspective mode are a little bit tricky. So it, just to give you a bit of a hand and heads up on this, let's go to snap and let's add in the snap to grid lines and again, view, snap and document grid and that's going to help you especially if we create a nice little box or something like that so it's just easier uh, and just just to give you an overview it will help a little bit so let's put this into perspective drawing mode so let's go object and down to perspective and draw in perspective mode okay so we've got uh, three different versions okay so there's one two and three point version and three point you can split into uh, looking from above or below okay so obviously above is bird's eye below is worm's eye and the way that this is easy to remember and what this actually means is one point perspective drawing is if it was a, a road disappearing into the distance so let's do that now so click on one point and draw a box and drop that down this is your horizon point and you could see here in orthographic mode um, that it's just got the one point for um, vanishing. So let's first off draw in top mode. So top and bottom could be a road and a sky. So I'm gonna grab a rectangle, I'm gonna come from the center and I'm gonna drag back to here. I might wanna stretch that across the road a little bit. And of course, being a road, we'll make that black. Um, and if we wanna do the same here for the sky, I'm gonna to click top and bottom so I click side to side and pull that right the way down and the sky is blue, the sky is always blue. Now right hand side and left hand side drawing. So first off let's do the left hand side and let's put a building in here. Nice and boring and gray. And uh, just so I let go of my mouse, then at the wrong point. Uh, let's just chuck that in there, that'll do. Um, stretch that up a little bit to a little bit higher so it snaps to the point and we can also pull that across to its vanishing point as well like so there you go okay eek I'm done okay and we can put that in there's a grey building and if you wanted a window in the building fine just chuck that in there just to give you an idea so that's your one point vanishing and you can uh, turn your grid lines off here if you want to um, also if you uh, if you want your grid lines uh, in a different color you can select them over here we can make them black if you want them uh, more of them you increase this value here so if I put in 25 it would show you more lines if you wanted to get you know drill right into it and this one here is your transparency level if I put that at 75%, you can see that's heavier. If I put this at 10% transparency, you can see it's very light, okay? So when you're done with your drawing in perspective mode, click finish and you're back out of it, okay? But let's highlight all of that and delete it. So I want to draw something for you in 
um, perspective three point um, and let's make that a box with a bird's eye view so let's click up here bird's eye view make a little box area and let's go straight in for top and bottom um, and let's bring this um, Uh, let's add a few more lines in I think so let's go let's see what this looks like so 40% that'll do okay uh, I'm gonna grab a box and draw a box in here then I'm gonna go to the left side and draw down so I want to snap to the side of the box and come down like so and across and again on the other side as well um, before I do that I need to switch to the, the left hand side um, and then we do that the sorry the right hand side and then we've got that so that's our box built nice and easily we can scale this up in a minute when we come out perspective mode but at this point I might want to think about um, coloring it so I'll come back to my top view click on the top and let's make it blue let's make this side blue but I want this a little bit lighter so I'm going to click and hold the palette and select a lighter blue and this side even lighter again just click and hold the palette and make that really light over that side just so it gives you a bit of an idea um, okay at the same time I might want to add in a bit of text on the side so let's just put in the word new like so um, and you can see that because I'm in the um, left hand view mode it automatically fits itself to that plane and that's the same for um, anything really um, if you had a uh, an image you could say uh, right click on that and you could say I'll oh, fit to plane um, let's bring that right down here it's just so new gives you a bit of an idea okay so let's finish in that and now we've got a <laughs> a box that's exciting Okay, so I had a YouTube um, thumbnail earlier, which let's open that. We might rob a little bit of this and see if we can take some of the bits and pieces from this. Um, so I go uh, highlight that, control C, and bring that across to my new thumbnail document over here. And I want that item that's now uh, underneath that, so I'm gonna drag a box, I know where it is, um, and then I'm gonna bring that forward by pressing control, and home. Um, but also if I wanted to I could look at the object layers so if I click on the right hand side here on the doc document fly out I can click on objects and then I can see all of my different components like so so uh, new so let's do something different here um, let's ungroup these bits and pieces that say uh, this one here let's go uh, new features new um, something like that I already had that down there look at that uh, well actually what we'll do is perspective perspective uh, multi export <laughs> dear oh dear <laughs> multi-export mode um, I wonder if we could let's edit that I might be able to jump back in there to this image and let's grab this let's grab this image let's duplicate that I'm just going to try something see if this works um, so bear with me if I don't uh, hopefully I don't mess this up now so let's go back to uh, perspective mode let's edit let's click on this let's uh, reduce the size of that and let me right click on that and move to left right plane let's see if we can move this onto the right plane and bring that across here a little bit tricky but doable interesting probably not ideal for a YouTube layout but nevertheless it's still quite cool um, 
think it's going to come actually. Yeah, I don't think that image is really going to work on there, but just shows you that um, that is possible. So let's uh, delete that out of there. But, um, that's cool actually. Okay, trying this stuff all the time. Let's go. Um, we might want to use, let's put that balloon on there, that would be good. So let's click that um, up to the top. So duplicating that is the click and drag and then keep your left mouse button down and then right click with your right mouse button. And I'm going to hit the trace option on here. And let's see if we can pull that little balloon out of there. That would be good enough. So for me, let's delete that, let's delete that. Now there's a couple of ways you could lay that onto that. Um, if you wanted to, you could bring that down and we could add that into the perspective mode. I'm going to group the object, but quite frankly, it would probably be just as simple in something like this to, to skew it. Um, it would probably save you a lot of uh, messing around. So we would probably go in this case, I would use the envelope tool and use the uh, sharp line point and I'd probably drag that up to here. And uh, I didn't like that with a group. Let's uh, combine the object. So let's ungroup it. And then let's go Control L and combine and see how that works. So combining is a slightly different way of bring the objects together, it makes it one object altogether. Let's drag that up there, that works better. And to here. Cool. Keep an eye on that. Make sure it's on the straight point. So this is how I would have done things before. Okay, stretch that across if you want as well. So that's sort of how you would have done it before and you can tinker around and do what you want. But just to give you uh, another option for creating that on there as well. Um, okay, that's cool. So let's uh, highlight all that, control group it, and let's drop, drop that in somewhere on here. Um, and then let's maybe make these colors behind here, something similar to that so I can Highlight those colours, that on there, make that white, like so. Let's uh, increase the size of both of those, so I'm going to um, highlight both options, both together, keep my finger down on the shift sit key, so I'm clicking that one, one behind, drag, okay, new features, oh, that looks alright, something like that. So, you could maybe put that down there, I don't know, maybe make it a bit bigger, maybe not have that across her face, so it's just reduced the whole size of that a little bit. Um, that will do for the purposes of this video, uh, and I'll bring that down there a little bit. Okay, so we're going to look at the multi-export feature now, so this is quite cool. We are going to, if you don't have it here already, Click on the fly out there and make sure you add in the export. So now we're going to go export. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of it and group it. So that's creating one um, object and then I'm going to add it straight into this new export feature and it's going to give it a name there. So what I would probably do before that if I was a bit more on the ball, let's delete that one, is go back to the objects, look at the group highlight that and call it a uh, YouTube thumb let's do it, thumbnail uh, coral draw 2021 new I don't know that I'll do something like that okay click on that now now when we bring that across into the export multi export feature and add it in straight in it would have that name on it. So suffix wise, um, I want to export this as a JPEG and here I want to export this one as underscore 100, meaning 100%, um, which is full scale. And then also I want one at 50% at um, 150 DPI. So what I'll do there is I'm going to click on the three dots on the side press, duplicate. This one I'm going to whack in here 
50. So that when it exports these objects, I know that this is going to be a 50%. Okay, so I need to go to the cog now and tell it to be 50%. And to do that by dropping right to the bottom down here to the transform tool. And I'm going to put this in here, 150 DPI. Uh, and over here, that should give me, tell me what size that is. It's 1.92. Um, uh, let's go in and I might add, make this 50% as well, just to be double sure. So you get there. So it's 180, uh, 1.8 megabytes, which is perfect. 150 DPI, I'm gonna press okay. And then I'm gonna select the folder, destination folder where I want it. And that's gonna be here, YouTube, Coral. So let's uh, make that folder up and select the folder and then I'm going to go export all and that's going to just run in the background quickly let's open up my desktop uh, and here they come and they're in so there you go uh, hovering over one at full size 2.2 megabytes and at one at 50 percent at 1.8 uh, I hope that's been useful for you. Uh, if don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll keep popping the videos out for you um, as Coral Draw, as we learn more and more about the new Coral Draw. But hopefully that will give you a quick overview on the perspective feature and the multi-export mode. All right, thanks for watching, guys.